So when I calculated the value of root 48, my second decimal place slightly went off track. At that time, I didn't notice that. But after I came out of the examination hall, to my surprise and fate, that question was of So hey guys, welcome back to your own channel with an all new video on the last minute tips and tricks for your ICSE Maths board exam. So before I begin, I would like to say you all something. Now that your exams have come, so I strongly recommend you all to stop comparing yourself with others or any other person on this planet. Your competition is not with the crowd. Your genuine fight is with you yourself. And the day you will get to understand this point, believe me, you will perceive the true meaning of success. Moreover, do let me know in the comment section how was your experience giving your first board exam of English language and what do you think was your performance. And even if it didn't go well, please don't worry. There are still 9 more chances to prove your potential. See, every day gives you a lesson and learning from it is most important. Now let's come on to the points which I would be covering in the whole video. These are how to efficiently utilize the first 15 minutes reading time, the best sequence order and we must attempt our paper, section wise tips and tricks, important chapters, best books to follow at this moment, what does the examiner demand from your paper, 10 exclusive quick super tips for maths board exam preparation, the success mantra of maths board exams preparation and the most important my very minutest careless mistake which I committed in my paper which proved very fatal to me. The last three points are very interesting so make sure you watch the whole video till the end. So without any delay let's move on to the 15 minutes reading time usage. Now that you know how board exams actually work so it would be easier for you to understand the whole video. If you ask me I strongly suggest you to apply 510 rule and this rule clearly states that you will use your first 5 minutes in reading the questions of section A. This 5 minute reading will be a quick one where you will only have an overview of the questions. The rest 10 minutes will completely be devoted to section B of your paper. In this time duration, you will choose your best 4 questions which you will attempt later on from section B. In these 10 minutes, you will carefully read all the questions and choose the best out of them which you know you can easily solve. As you all know that writing on question paper is strictly prohibited, so you will mark those 4 questions with just a single dot. That's it. Nothing else is required further. If we talk about the best sequence order in which the paper must be attempted, so I recommend you to go with the flow. Starting from question number 1 of section A and ending with section B. The reason is that maths paper requires a lot of concentration power. So if you will fluctuate among questions, there is a much higher chance that your concentration may hinder. Moreover, if you go with the flow, there is a state of continuity which gives you more and more confidence in the exam. Now let's come on to section wise analysis. As you all know that the section A that is of 40 marks is the compulsory portion of your paper. And in this section mostly short answer and formula based questions are asked. So make sure you have all the formulas at your fingertips. Section A is very scoring provided you know the formulas and application of them in questions. Since section A is a compulsory part, so it contains the questions which are slight easier than section B ones. So make sure you know the basics of every chapter to score 40 out of 40 in this section for sure. Section A of your paper is the most important portion of your whole paper. Even a single mistake can lead to a great hindrance in your dream to score 100. If we talk about section B, so in this section you have a large number of choices to attempt. Only 4 questions out of 7. So here the probability of scoring marks is even greater. Section B mostly contains typical questions which are directly or indirectly linked to the theorems and formulas. So do have a good command on the applications of theorems. The theorems given in circles and tangents are also very important. Also give more focus on the questions based on graphs which are generally asked in every board exam. They are also very scoring. Another very important point. I want you to attempt 5 questions in section B with 1 question as an over attempt. Because what happens in section B that a minute mistake can deduct half or even one marks from your answer. In order to be at a safer side, I strongly recommend you to attempt 5 questions in section B. But attempt the 5th question only when you have revised all your paper. It means that you will not attempt that 5th question unless and until you have clearly checked your mistakes in section A and section B attempted so far. If we talk about important chapters, those are obviously trigonometry. Heights and Distances, AP and GP, Mensuration, Matrices, Linear Equations, 
क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सर्कल्स रेशो एंड प्रोपोर्शन सेक्शन एंड मिड पॉइंट फॉर्मूला मैप्स एंड मॉडल पोर्शन ऑफ सिमिलैरिटी एंड प्रॉबेबिलिटी सी दीज आर दैप्टर्स विच हैड हायर वेटेज इन द प्रीवियस बोर्ड एग्जाम्स सो ग्रेटर फोकस मस्ट बी गिवन टू दीज चैप्टर्स इन मैथ्स बोर्ड एग्जाम्स यू कैनॉट लीव एनी चैप्टर in some way or the other almost all the chapters are covered in the board's paper if we talk about the best books which you can follow at this very moment those are obviously your selina book plus very very important the past 10 years question papers if you really want to score a 100 on 100 you can never ignore the previous year question papers if you ask me don't go for the self study book at this moment The questions given in that book are of a bit higher level than what are actually asked in your board exams. Now let's come on to the points which the examiner demand from you in your paper. The checker of the maths paper gives more focus on your steps of executing the question rather than the final answer. Although final answer is checked, your steps are very very important. The examiner ensures by seeing your steps in the paper if you have crammed the answers or not. So please don't go for shortcuts. Don't go for straight answering. Solve the question as it is needed. Give reasons in your answers. Also try to give the formulas in the reasons. This gives a perfect impression upon the examiner that you know all the basics of the paper. And the most important, don't try to fake the examiner. He or she has a much higher experience of paper checking than you can even imagine. Now let's come on to the last very interesting trio of this video. At first we will begin with a 10 exclusive quick super tips for maths board exam preparation i will be telling them one by one so make sure you write them on some paper so the tips are first don't panic and be calm make a study schedule or a timetable for the rest of the days left for maths board exam set a limit for the number of chapters you will complete in a single day don't focus on study hours instead focus on study tasks that you will not leave your desk till you complete that task or chapter clear your concepts don't cram them solve previous year sample papers at least one daily prepare short study notes write all the formulas on a single page paste your desired score on the wall which comes in front of where you study and the most important give more focus on the examples and miscellaneous exercises given in your book there is only one success mantra which you will have to follow at this very crucial moment in order to score a full 100 on 100 for sure and the success mantra is don't go for quantity go for quality based solving see maths can be both your best friend or your worst enemy it's you who decides it to be in these last days i suggest you to solve quality based problems rather than solving the whole exercises the quality based problems can include the examples the last questions of every exercises and even the miscellaneous exercises see now you don't have enough time to solve the whole exercise simply work on building your basics and understanding the formulas math doesn't come by cramming it only comes by solving and solving and you already know what questions are important so try to solve them more carefully see our main objective is to efficiently complete the syllabus as soon as possible and then immediately go for sample paper solving that's it so please completely work on these two things quality based problems plus sample papers see we generally think that while preparing for board exams the more questions we will solve in every exercise the more marks we will get but please note that solving thousands of questions of the same kind and also at the last moments is just foolishness and nothing else Now let's come on to the most suspenseful part of this video. The mistake which I made in my maths board exam. If I tell you all my experience, I attempted the whole section A and attempted 5 questions in section B. But I still remember that question in which the answer was root 48. So I calculated the value of root 48 myself and as you all know that when we calculate such values by ourselves, there is a much higher chance that our answer usually comes in approximation and so was my case. So when I calculated the value of root 48 my second decimal place slightly went off track at that time I didn't notice that but after I came out of the examination hall to my surprise and fate that question was of significant figures moreover that question was in section A of the paper and when the result came 
My score was 99. Now you all might be thinking what uniqueness does this story possess? Let me also tell you that when you give your maths exam, all the students get a book which is known as the log book. And that book contains the values of square roots, cube roots, logs, trigonometric functions and many more. And while I gave my exam, I literally forgot that book. So at the end, I will not tell you the lesson. You yourself will derive a lesson from this and do let me know in the comment section what conclusion did you draw out from this. So with this, we end up this video. If you really like this video, please share this video to at least your two friends. Also make sure to subscribe your own channel. I will meet you soon on another video again based upon your comments. So till then, stay happy, stay fit, all the very best, believe you can and you are halfway there. Jai Hind, Vande Mahatma.